I'm in a rental van. And I'm driving down the street. I'm doing about 30 miles an hour. Now, everybody here knows that I have a horrendous fear of birds. Yes. We all know that. Yes, you do. I'm actually thinking about having Sharon Simon, who's a comic, who has a parrot, that parrot yeah. have her come in and try to, for me to get over my fear. But, so now, I'm driving in a van. It's a rental van. And I'm driving down the road about 30 miles an hour. And I look to my left, and I see this bird kind of coming towards me, almost like if you were in a, coming to an intersection and you saw a car and it looks like he's not stopping. Right. But I'm like, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. The bird's going to pull up. He's going to move. The bird hits. You know where your side view mirror is in your car? Right there where the windshield and the door meet, that big metal piece right there? Yeah. The bird, the if, you will. if it's called an A-pillar, mm -hmm. the bird slams into the A-pillar. I duck to my right, and he fucking ricochets into the fucking truck. <laughs> oh my God. Somehow he missed my head and landed. Now, when I tell you the fucking freak out that I had, I dude, the, the freak out that I had, first of all, there's no room. There's like four inches right. between my head, the seat, and a space to get into the back. Right. Dude, in a matter of, well, I don't even know how long it took. It felt like an eternity. But I opened the door, pulled over, and put it in park all at the same fucking time. <laughs> I jumped out of the car like I'm in a Chinese fucking fire drill. And I'm running around like an idiot getting stung by a bee, right? I'm like, ah, no, I'm fucking running around. And now I'm fucking calm. But I'm freaked out because I'm like, great. I got this splattered fucking dead bird in the back of my fucking that, van. That you have to deal with, right? And I'm like, I don't know what to do. So I walk on the side, and on, on the rental vans, there's a side door, the two doors that open up. So I'm like, all right, I'm ready. I open them up, and there's this fucking bird sitting there, kind of like a car with a flat tire, just a little bit to the right, laying there on its side like it's posing for a fucking pantyhose commercial. And he's just sitting there. I'm like, holy shit, he's alive. And he sees the door open, and he's like, and he got up, like, holy shit, and poof, fucking took off. You're kidding Flew me. Flew out of the fucking truck. There's feathers everywhere in the fucking inside of my truck. Dude, when I tell you if that fucking bird would have flown into my face or chest mm -hmm. and been in my lap, I would have been right next to you in that sucking psych ward. <laughs> I would have been asking for Wonder Bread like the black man. Dude, it was fucking freaky. Weren't you happy you got up and flew away? You didn't have to clean up? Yes, yeah. but I had feathers all over. It looks like I blew a chicken in the back of the fucking truck. <laughs> It was ridiculous. It was the f most frightening moment I've had in a long, long time. I don't understand my fear of birds. Mm -hmm. I can't figure it out. But, I mean, I, you know what it is? I react towards birds the way everybody else reacts with bats. Mm -hmm. I am that petrified of birds. And this, it, w it was like a gray thing. It almost looked like a... Um, it almost looked like a pigeon, but it wasn't a pigeon. It was like that gray type of feather. Dude, I, I'm going 30 miles an hour. 30 miles an hour. And this thing fucking slams into it, flies past my fucking head at 40 miles an hour into the truck. And it was the scariest thing that's ever fucking happened to me in the last five years. I've always, you know, what, I've been driving 20-something years now. I've never hit a bird. And I've always wondered, like, you know, I felt like Randy Johnson. Do they ever get hit? Right. And Dave Winfield hit one a long time ago. Oh, really? He threw the ball and he hit the seagull. I don't remember that one. Oh, yeah, and then he took the seagull and kind of tossed it aside, and Toronto wanted to put him in jail. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he killed a bird. Holy shit. But, but they love hockey. Um, <laughs> but, no, you know, uh, I don't think I've ever hit one in 20-some-odd years of driving. And I'm watching it. I'm looking, and I'm like, dude, this guy's getting close. You saw the whole thing. He's getting close, but I'm like, nah. And in the moment in my head where I thought, nah, poof, fucking slammed into. And then past you. And then pass my fucking head. Dude, I mean, dude, if it could have fucking... If it would have flown into my face... What if, what if he was narrating what happened? Would you have felt calmer? Well, we have a bird flying the bird northwest. Is towards you right yes, now. towards this Enterprise rental truck. He just shit on your thigh. <laughs> There's a chubby man with a long beard. <laughs> it was horrendous, dude. Wow. Fucking freaked out. The, and the weirdest thing is seeing this bird, basically, he just looked a little injured. I was very injured, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he just, he, he was lying on its side. 
like he was Joe Namath in that old fucking stocking commercial. Remember the old yes. uh, commercial? Yes. I don't wear pantyhose, but if my legs look good in it, <laughs> how about yours, ladies? And he's just laying there. And I'm thinking he's dead. But then when I opened the doors, he got, like, excited. He was like, Whoop, and fucking just, like. Took off. Got on its, got, like, straight up. You know what I mean? It's like you're laying down and you have to sit up on the couch first. That's what he did. Sits up and then poof, fucking takes off. Hunters talk about that all the time. Like uh, with deer. They'll shoot a deer and the thing will lay down and they think they got it. And at worst, they think they have to go there and like maybe finish it off. And they walk and they get within like X amount of space and the thing will just take off. They never see it again. (laughs) (laughs) That's insane. (laughs) That's great. That's nuts. So, uh,. Yeah, that's crazy. That's called your fears coming right at you and landing in your lap. And I said, I got to get, I don't need to. Like, a fear of flying is something I have to get over. Right. You know, and I'm, and I'm doing it. This isn't something I need to get over. I don't need to get over roller coasters. You know what I mean? It's not like I have some, some, uh, I mean, it's a retarded fear. Right. It really is. I mean, these fucking, these, they're just, you know, descendants of fucking pterodactyls, you know, (laughs) that are closest thing to dinosaurs that are still left on the planet. And I just have this disdain and fear of them. Uh, but I'm like, you know what? I think it would be good radio to have Sharon Simon come in, who's a comedian, and she has a fucking parrot, who every time I see her with this fucking thing, it's she, she gets upset mm-hmm. because I won't touch Blinky. I'm like, I don't want to touch Blinky. I'm afraid of Blinky. Is that the name? That's the name of the bird. And but I said, <laughs> you know what? I think it'll be good radio. To have her in here with this fucking, this fucking flying mongrel, and let's fucking get over my fear. I want to be able to put it on my finger and have me hold it, and I think I want to do it. <laughs> let's do that. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe we'll, maybe we'll wait. I was going to say, could I beg you to wait absolutely. until I come back? Yeah. That would be great. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think Joe's in any rush to <laughs> No, 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 no. It's like, you know, hey, Joe, you want to take a ride on uh, Melanie Lane in East Hanover <laughs> and take a ride with a fucking, uh, you know, it just, I, I, I'm not in a rush to do that.